Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Jordan's collaboration with Beauty Bay, which I'm very excited about. If you didn't already know, um, Jordan Lipscomb, who is one of my lovely friends here on YouTube, uh, she has a YouTube channel, obviously, and she has collaborated with Beauty Bay, which is one of my favourite beauty websites. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Um, I literally just thought I'd review them for you guys. I was very kindly sent the palettes from Beauty Bay. And yeah, like I mentioned, Jordan is one of my friends, but I'm still gonna be honest in this video about the palettes because I haven't actually tried them yet. I have swatched a couple of them because I just got a bit too excited when they arrived, but I haven't tried them on my eyes, so we're gonna see how they go. Okay, so I believe as you're watching this video, the palettes come out tomorrow, which is Thursday the 27th, I think? Yeah, 27th of September. Um, they're available from beautybay.com. Uh, I believe Beauty Bay ship internationally. They're cruelty free, the palettes are made from recyclable cardboard, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're 20 pounds each, and I did see quite a few comments on her video, of her announcement video being like, oh my gosh, why are they 20 pounds each? Like, they're too expensive or whatever. Because obviously Beauty Bay have just released their big palettes, which are 25 pounds each. But then we don't know like the formulas of these, like maybe the formula for these particular eyeshadows and highlighters were more expensive to make. Maybe the packaging was more expensive to make. Like, I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs of this. I think 20 pounds for a collaboration with somebody for a non-drugstore brand isn't a bad price. But yeah, just to address like the price comment, well, I mean, I can't address it. It's not my palettes, but you know, we don't know how much it actually costs to produce these and make these and get the formulas and stuff. But what I do know is that Jordan worked really hard on these. Okay, so there are three different palettes. I already think I know which one I'm gonna, oh, I nearly dropped on. I already think I know which one I'm gonna use and you can probably guess by my t-shirt today. So these are the three right here. We have Fuego. We have Trooper and then we have Onyx. I really like the way they've done the box. It's got like the writing on it on this sleeve that just pops out like this. And then on the inside, what I think is actually so cute about these, the packaging is just kind of plain matte black with a little Beauty Go, Beauty Go? Beauty Bay logo, but it comes with stickers for each of them that match the kind of outer box so you can customize it, which I think is really cute. And then the inside of Onyx looks like this. So we have a mirror, um, I think these are a nice size for traveling and then you get a little name sheet like this and so this one onyx is the more smoky one all of these eyeshadows in here are matte for this particular palette and then you get two highlighters but then i guess you could use the highlighters as eyeshadow if you wanted like a pop of shimmer in the middle of your lid or something so we have fawn henna smoke amber marron is that how you say it stung sparkling rose and rosado the highlighters in this onyx palette are definitely more on the pink side there's a kind of darker pink and then a lighter pinky champagne if that makes sense so those are those two highlighters there they feel gorgeous as you can see this one is a bit of a darker pink so this one is probably going to work better for medium deep skin tones and then this one is more of like an icy pink so onyx is probably the one to go for if you want like a smoky eye so these are the swatches of onyx this black that was like one dip going up and down. And then obviously these are the two highlighters there, which, oh my God, these look so pretty. This one right here, you can't even see because it's literally the exact same color as my skin. Normally I don't go off swatches for like matte shades because they just never swatch nicely on arm compared to your eyeballs. We then have Fuego, which I feel like is probably gonna be the most popular. Um, again, it has the same sort of thing with the packaging. It's got the metallic writing on the sleeve. Oh, and then it's got a bit of information on the back. And then the quote that comes in this one says, light a fire they can't put out. And then you've got the same stickers as before, but they're in like the rose gold color. And then the inside of this one looks like this. So again, exactly the same sort of layout, but the shades in this are a lot more warm toned so if you like your warm shades this is probably the palette to go for um there's four mattes in here two shimmers and oh my god i was doing a swatch of these shimmers earlier and i was like oh my goodness like this one here oh wait i've got highlight on my hand shouldn't have done that let's do it down my arm excuse me this shade right here which is called Mercy is absolutely gorgeous. So we have Tan, Pinot, Mercy, Ember, Mocha, Molten, Gold Dust and Heart of Gold. The highlighters in here are a bit more dark. I'm not actually sure if I would be able to get away with either of these. I think they're a little bit too dark for me. Uh, maybe I'll be able to just about get away with that. So those are those two there. Yeah, maybe actually I would just about be able to get away with that one. I do like how she's done a, like a lighter and a darker highlighter shade in each of these palettes. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, this one, Fuego, is absolutely stunning. Um, I definitely prefer this one, I think, to the Onyx palette. The swatches, um, sorry, the eyeshadows, I think swatch better with these. Um, I guess because they're like brighter colours and they have more pigment but 
These are gorgeous. Like the shimmers, the mattes in here are so pretty. Like that orange shade again was literally just like doo 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 doo. And then again, these two are the two highlighters. As you can see, they're definitely a bit deeper than the previous palette. But, and then I think the one that I'm gonna test today is Trooper, which has got um, silver metallic. And then the quote that comes in this one says, bravery isn't the absence of fear, but action in the face of fear. I do not know what that means, but I'm sure it's very inspirational. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I get it. <laughs> so this one matches my kind of outfit today. I love khaki green. It's probably my favorite color. Um, and this is a very kind of like smoky army green sort of palette. Um, there's still a couple of bronzy warm tones in here as well, which I like a lot. But then we've got the more like green ones down here. And then the highlighters in here are called Days and Quartz. So we have Ochre, Cocoa, Gilded, Olive, Ambush, Envious, Days and Quartz. So these two are definitely the lightest out of all of the highlighters. Um, Jordan did say in her video that this one right here, she found really difficult to develop a kind of like darker champagne -y sort of color. Color. And so she said in her video, like being honest, that this one might be a little bit too pale on like very deep skin tones. But she did say that she has tried it on people with deep skin tones and she says that it looks beautiful. So especially if you mix it with a bit of this eyeshadow down here. So I really appreciate the fact that she was honest in her video about that. But again, if these highlighters don't work for you on your face, then that I guess would kind of suck because you want to pay for the palette that's got highlighter and eyeshadow, but you could always use them on your eyes. So that white highlighter there is my jam. There's that one there. Oh God, that's the worst swatch in the whole world, but. These are the comparison of the highlighters. These two are from Onyx. These two are from Fuego. And then these two are from, what's it called? Trooper. Okay, so these are the swatches of Trooper, which is the palette that I'm going to be using. Um, again, like the shimmers in this are so, so gorgeous. This one especially is so beautiful. Um, like the green shades, they don't swatch so well on your arm, but then I can't judge them until I've tried them on my eyes. Um, this is the other green shimmer, which looks beautiful. The formula of this one and this one are slightly different. This one is a bit more foiled, but this one is still super pigmented. And then these two other highlighters, like, yeah, I mean, this shade right here, it doesn't look like it's swatched that great on my arm, but then I just need to try these on my eyes before I can like fully judge them. Just in case you guys are interested in Fuego, I'm going to test this one on my face to see if it will be light enough for me. Uh, if it's not, then I'll go in with another highlighter over the top, which I probably will do anyway. Okay, so I'm just dipping into some of this. This one in particular has a bit of like fallout into the pan. Can I get away with that? I think... No, okay, yeah, that's too dark. Gosh, damn it. To be fair, I probably could just about get away with that, but when you look to the front, like you can see it a bit. Um, and I know that Jordan did say in her videos that some of these highlighters do have like loose bits of glitter in. I would say that this is definitely one of them. Um, but then she said, the more that you buff it away, like the, the kind of like little bits of glitter kind of fly away, which is definitely true. Like, yeah, there's some little dots of glitter kind of around here, but then when you actually like buff it into your face, they just kind of like disappear pretty much. Just to that make use of all the palettes, I'm gonna try this shade here from Onyx on this side of my face. This one definitely isn't as glittery, like it's more held together in the pan. Ooh, yes. Okay, that highlighter shade is gorgeous. What's it called? Sparkling Rose? Yeah, this one is just like straight up glow. It doesn't have any like glitters in it like this one did. And then Trooper. I think I could probably get away with both of these. I'm just gonna go in with the super intense white one and just lighten up both sides of my face because why not? Okay, that is gorgeous. Both these shades as well don't seem to have the like glitters the same as the one in Fuego. Okay, so the highlighters overall, I think my favorites are probably the two that are in this palette, but then that's just because they suit my skin tone the most. I recently got some new brushes um, from Zoeva and I've never tried Zoeva eyeshadow brushes before. These are all like brand spanking new and clean, so I'm gonna give them a test today. So I'm starting off with the shade Ochre, which is this yellowy, orangey, mustard sort of color. And I'm just gonna put this in my crease. And then I'm doing the same on the other side. Okay, so this shade is really beautiful. So far it's blending really nicely. And then going in with the green, which is called Olive. And I'm just gonna take this on a smaller brush and kind of put this more concentrated in my crease. Oh my gosh, that is super pigmented. 
You see, like, from the way that this swatched on my arm, I was kind of like, I didn't know what it was going to be like, but then matte eyeshadows just look completely different when you actually put them on your eyeballs. Okay, so I've kind of accidentally put that all over my eyelid. <laughs> oh, I just love how it matches my t-shirt. And then just taking a tiny bit more of that shade, and I'm just going to kind of blend it into the orangey yellow colour. Because the other brush was not fluffy enough for me. I thought I was going to have to be really careful with this green shade because a lot of the time green matte shades can be really difficult to formulate but this seems to be blend bl blending pretty nicely into that other colour. Okay, I'm just going to take this slightly darker, well it's quite a bit darker, it's like a greenish, it almost looks black in the pan but I think it's got a slight hint of green in there. And I'm just going to focus this like on the outer corners, crease and inner corners I think. I think I'm going to do like a halo eye just because that's what I'm feeling today. I'm not a fan of this brush, it's too like pointed, do you see what I mean? Again like this shade on my arm swatched like not the best but actually on my eye like a little bit of that goes a long way. I'm then taking another blending brush and I'm just going to dip into a tiny bit more of that orangey shade, like literally the tiniest bit in the whole world and I'm just going to use that to just buff out the edges again. I am then going to take some concealer and just do a little spotlight eye type thing. My brush that I normally use has started to like go a bit separated and so I couldn't get it quite as precise as normal but oh well whatever we're going to move on. So I'm then going to take this green shade and I'm just going to put this on either side of that cut crease. That is a super pretty, shimmery, forest green type colour. Okay, and then next I'm dipping in to this shade here, which is called Gilded. The one before was called Envious, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put this on the centre of my eyelid. And oh my god, this shade, like, in the swatch and on my eye, that is gorgeous. Like, don't get me wrong, the shimmery green was gorgeous, but this one is just insane. It's definitely more of like a foily formula rather than just shimmer. I've made these so uneven. Okay, like, can you see what I mean? Like, this gold shade is just stunning. Like, look how foily that is. You could also get, like, if you didn't want to use the greens, you could get a really beautiful look using these three shades. On my lower lash line, I'm taking some of this um, green colour. I, I keep forgetting the name. It's called Olive. I'm just gonna run that along here. And then I'm taking some of the orangey shade and I'm just gonna blend that out a bit. And then on my inner corners I'm taking the highlighter in quartz. Okay so this is the eyeshadow done. Um, I didn't use the brown shade which I know is probably a little bit annoying but then I didn't want to layer it on top if it didn't actually fit with the look. So this is the overall look, which I have to say I'm really happy with. I think it looks gorgeous. I love these type of like green tones. I like how she's got the really warm transition shade in there as well. I think it just ties it together really nicely. Um, and the fact that these are green eyeshadows, I think they actually performed really well. And then the shimmers in this were absolutely gorgeous. I think I probably do prefer the shimmers to the mattes, but then I always love a good foily shimmer. Okay, so I'm just gonna go away and do my liner and mascara and lashes. I'm gonna go for these ones which are the Kiss Lashes in Noir. Okay, so I'm back. I've put my lashes on and I put my lipstick on. For my lips, I used the Jamie Genevieve MAC collaboration. So, well, two collaborations in one video. So, overall, now that I've got my lashes and liner on and everything, I am obsessed with this eyeshadow look that I've created. I think it looks so pretty. I just think the shades that she's picked are really nice and they all complement each other really nicely. Um, they performed really beautifully on my eyes. That shimmer in particular was definitely my favourite shade. And then my least favourite shade is probably this one which was called Ambush, which was a little bit, like, you had to work with it a little bit more, but then, like, the overall look of this, I just think it's really beautiful. I think that it's a really nice mixture of um, different types of looks in each of the palettes, um, and I think overall she's done a really good job. Okay, so guys, this is the finished look and everything. Um, 
Overall, I think that Jordan has done a great job in these palettes. I think they're really beautiful. If I had to pick like negatives of these palettes, um, I would say that a couple of the highlighter shades are a little bit glittery, but then when you do actually buff them into your skin, that um, kind of like glitteriness definitely goes away and you don't get like glitter on your cheekbones, uh, it definitely comes across as more of a glow, which I think Jordan said in her own video. Another thing I would say is like these little bits of plastic, I always tend to lose them. So I think it would have been better if the names were maybe printed onto the palette rather than having a bit of plastic. But then like, you know, with my first palette, it would make a revolution. I have one of these bits of plastic and I lost it within the first five seconds of my own palette. So, um, but yeah. Overall, that's pretty much it. I think they're really lovely. And I'm not sitting here telling you to go out and buy all three um, or saying that you have to go and buy these because obviously it's up to you, like based on this video and Jordan's video and everyone else's video, like which one you want to buy. If you aren't already subscribed, I would love it so much if you subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.